Hey guys, welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to push open a door so you're opening it with physics. So what this is going to do is basically when we walk into the door, it's going to open. So I'll show you what that looks like now. So we have our door here. If we walk into it, it's going to open and then we can do this both ways like so. And also you can change where the rotation point is and you can also change how easy it is for the player to open the door. So you can see we have to push this quite a bit, but we can make it so that it's easier or they have to push harder. So I'll show you how to do that now. So our first step is going to be to create our blueprint active for this door. So what I'm going to do is in the content browser, I'm going to right click, go to blueprint class and get an actor. I'm just going to call this one physics door BP. You can name this whatever you like. So just door BP or anything, but that's what I'm going to name it. And we'll open that up straight away. And now in here, what I'm going to do is add component up in the top left and get a static mesh. So static mesh like so. I'm going to name this one door. Then over in the static mesh on the right down here, I'm going to select this as the door I want this to be. So you can put this as the static mesh you want. I'm going to use SM underscore cube 03 like that so I can have that. I'm not using the start content door as the collision on that isn't great and it doesn't work well with uh, physics. So obviously you can use your own static mesh if you'd like but that's why I'm not using the start content door. So then what I'm going to do is just scale this to be how I want. So I found these values to be quite good earlier. So now I have my door like that. So that's what my door is going to look like. And then underneath the materials down here, we want to tick simulate physics. So simulate physics is true like that. Now you might want to disable gravity. Just basically what this means is obviously gravity will be enabled. So it's going to fall if we have it up somewhere. So you might want to turn this off or leave it on completely up to you. Then after that, what we're going to do is again, add another component. And this one is going to be a physics constraint. So add a physics constraint like that, but don't have it parented to the door. So if it was just drag and drop it off. So it should look like this. And then what I'm going to do is under the constraints under here, we have component name one. What I'm going to do is open up component name one. And then where it says component name, I'm going to name this to what I want the physics to affect. So I want this to be my door static mesh. So I'm going to name this door. Make sure you have it the exact same name you have as your static mesh up here, as this is what we want it to affect. So that should now work. So now you should see a little red box appear around your door. So that works like that. And then what I'm going to do is just move this to be the hinge of my door. So I want them to be a hinge all the way up at the top like that. And I'll add another one in a minute, but I'll just finish the settings on these so we can duplicate it. Again, this is basically our two hinges when we add another one. So then we're just going to mess about with some of the limits of this. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down until we get to linear limits and we have X motion, Y motion and Z motion. We're going to lock the X and Y but put the Z as free as you want this to be rotating on the Z axis. So it is rotating like this. Obviously it will be at this edge here, but obviously that's just the axis you want to rotate it on. So if we select this physics constraint again, so that's the linear limits done. Now underneath that we have angular limits. We want to set all of these to free. So they should probably be like that by default, but send the angular limits to free like so. Everything else we can keep the same. And like I say, I'm going to duplicate this. So control C, control V to get another one and then move this down to the bottom. So we have our two door hinges like so. And it doesn't matter too much where you have these, but just make sure you have it at the top and bottom on the same side. And this means that the door won't fall over and it will open properly how we want. So like I say, the best analogy is a door hinge. And so now this should be done. So if we compile, save and close that and just put our door in place, I'm going to rotate it so it's facing that way. And then again, I'll just place this where I want it to be. So I think that's going to be good. And then I'll just hit play to test this. So you can see we can walk over to the door and it's going to open up like that. And we can close it as well or open it the other way. So that works perfectly. And then obviously if you want to be able to change which way it opens, you can either just rotate it here or just move these physics constraints. So the door hinges to the other side or on top or below or anything like that, just to make it work perfectly for you and how you want it. And also if you want to change how hard the player has to push, if we just open the blueprint again and select the door static mesh, essentially if we change the linear and angular damping, that will make it harder. So it's at 0 0.01 now and zero. So I change this to 20 and 20. What this will do is it will make it harder for us. So now if we try this again, you see it doesn't open as quickly or as easily. The player has to walk into it and push it a little bit harder like so. And obviously the closer you are to the hinge, the harder it will be like that. So I think that works perfectly. And obviously you can add your own animation as well for actually pushing this. Essentially you just have a box collision and play an animation montage or just play an animation in the blueprint. However, I'm not going to get into that right now, but I do have a video on pushing a cube, which uses the same kind of mechanics, which you could do. The main reason I'm not putting an animation in here is because you kind of need more of a dynamic one since the rotation and location, this is moving quite a bit. It might not look too good, but obviously you'd know how to do it 
if you watch that video. So this is just the very basic way of pushing into a door to open it. So we're opening it with physics like that. So I think that'll be it for this video. If we've done what we want to do, like I say, we've done the very basic part of just being able to walk into a door to push it open with physics. And like I say, there are ways to implement animations, which you can see in a different video. Or if you'd like more help, you can comment down below and maybe I'll make another video on it as well if I can find a good animation for it. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.